Ah no, yeah, yeah, you have to take two. Take two, take two. <laughs> Hi, my name is Pastor David Yawagata, and this is Yawagata Unchained. I want us to look at the story of sin. Um, Romans chapter 7, Paul writes and says from verse 7, What shall I say then? Is the law sin? Certainly not. Indeed, I would not have known what sin was except through the law. For I would not have known what coveting really was had the law not said, do not covet. And so Paul begins to discuss, and, the, and, and right from the beginning of this book of Romans, Paul is addressing the issue of sin. What is sin? Uh, many of us do not understand what sin is because unless we understand what sin is, then we cannot understand or value the importance of salvation. Because if I do not know that I am lost, I do not need direction. As, as the Bible says, uh, in Mark chapter 2, verse 17, it's not, Jesus said, it's not the sick who need a doctor. It's not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. And so he's pointing to the reality that unless you know something is amiss, then you will never really need somebody to help you rectify. Unless I know I'm lost, I will never be able to ask for direction. Unless I know there's something wrong with my body, I will not walk into a doctor's office. Nobody just books an appointment with a doctor to go and say, hello, what's up? How's the business going? No, we only go there because there is something amiss. But sometimes even when things are okay, and this is where many of us uh, fail because we think as long as I'm okay, as long as life is good, my marriage is good, my, my money is flowing, you know, my networks are working for me, life is going on well. We reach that place where the Pharisees were. Who felt we are fine we have no need for god we are we are cool as we are you know we are top of the society we are the you know top of the food chain you know people respect us we are given the position of influence and and honor in every ceremony and so they felt we are fine we do not need the sick we don't need, we don't need a doctor and so when jesus comes he says who who makes you judge who makes you the one to come and say we are wrong and he says, you know what, if you think you're fine, then you're fine. And many of us, and, and unfortunately, sometimes this happens even in our medical surroundings, that somebody who was in perfect health drops dead. And we're asking, what happened? Oh, he didn't know he had this. <laughs> and unfortunately, as a world, we live like that. We feel everything is okay until it's too late. And it's fortunate for us to feel unwell, to begin to feel that pain, to begin to feel that pinch, because it causes us to ask the right questions to the right person. And so the Bible gives us a picture in Romans chapter 7 where it talks about how do I know then this is sin? Because the law was given. How do I know stealing is a crime? Because without the law, it is just taking. How do I know corruption is a crime? Because the law says this is wrong. But if there was no law to govern that, then it is just a free for all, give and take. How do I know murder is wrong? Because the word of God clearly says and the laws of the land say, do not take away another person's life. But Paul says this is where the struggle comes for us. That sin comes and prepares a place for, uh, I mean, the law comes and prepares a place for us to understand what sin is. And then from there begin to appreciate then the need for salvation when we see our inadequacies. And so my prayer is that we can understand what sin is and the power that sin affords. And Paul goes on and says, you see, sin sees the opportunity afforded by the commandment and produce every kind of covetous desire. Apart from the law, sin is dead. What are you talking about? There has to be a measure for there to be an error. You cannot say there is a divergent from this point if there is no linear way to that point. And so until we say this is the point, and, and in my first video I just talked about the archer, unless that mark, bull's eye, is clearly defined, then anywhere you hit on that board is correct. Unless the word of God gives us a law and a way of living, then everything becomes acceptable. So this is what I want to point to us. We cannot talk about sin. We cannot talk about virtue. We cannot talk about right until 
we can be able to define what is wrong. We cannot know covetousness until is wrong until somebody puts it clearly to us, do not covet. We cannot know stealing is wrong until it's put clearly to us that taking what does not belong to you without asking for permission is a crime. And the moment the law is put in place, then it affords us the parameters. It creates the lines of reference so that we know this is in and this is out. May God help us to be able to understand what it means to miss the mark so that we can aim to hit the mark. God bless you. This is the Wagat Unchained. Thank you.